As we begin our demonstration inside of AutoCAD Architecture 2010, the first thing that you're going to notice is its new user interface. As with most of the products in this release cycle, we've streamlined AutoCAD Architecture's UI in four key areas. First, there is the application menu. Here you will find a well-organized list of common features such as open, save, export, and publish. You can even use this tool to open recently accessed documents and pin them down for future use. Then there's a ribbon itself. As you can see, the ribbon spans the top of the application window and replaces the traditional toolbars. The main tabs are always present. Home, Insert, Annotate, Render, View, and Manage. Other contextual tabs display only when you need them. For example, when you select a certain object such as a wall. Additional features specific only to walls, such as a new wall editing tools, will appear. Extensive user research leading up to this release has revealed that this right tool at the right time approach to command organization actually increases feature discoverability, making the product even easier to use. Then there's the quick access toolbar that's located right above the application menu, just above the ribbons. Highly customizable, you can easily add other commands to this list and even change its location. Finally, there's the implementation of tooltips. Now, while tooltips have been in prior releases, they've been reworked to provide even more information. So, for example, if you don't know what a specific tool does, hold your cursor over it for a moment to see a brief description. Then you can proceed to execute the command, such as populating an entire floor plan with door tags, quickly and easily. Now, continuing with the theme of improved usability, this release also offers some exciting enhancements to what is possibly its strongest feature, the wall object. Now, you may recall that in the last release, automatic wall cleanups were greatly improved, and in some instances where automatic cleanup wasn't possible, tooltips not only identified the possible problem, but also offered solutions as well. This release takes the wall object to a whole new level by giving you the ability to control wall cleanups on a component level. So by taking advantage of the new wall cleanup tool, you can control how individual components in one wall will interact with components of a completely different wall type. And if you need help identifying specific wall components, tool tips are also available as you begin to add more detail to your designs. So in this particular scenario, I have a fairly common case of a concrete wall with siding butting against a stud wall. Now, in order to effectively get the individual components of each wall to clean up, I'll wrap the gypsum and stud components of the concrete wall by extending them, adding vertices where necessary, and even intersecting them with similar components in the stud wall. Now, you'll notice that as soon as similar components touch, they automatically clean up. Now, to ensure precision and accuracy, I'll use dynamic input to specify the exact dimensions of each component's length and width. I can even add more architectural detail to each component by adding closed line work as well. Now, once done, solution tips go away, indicating that both walls are cleaning up properly. Now, what's very important to note about this feature is that it gives you the ability to design wall layouts exactly how you'd like for them to be built in the field. And as I highlight other examples of how the same wall layout can be customized with this feature, you can see how this tool can improve your construction documents as well. Now, as I conclude our brief look at some of the new features in this release, I want to demonstrate how the improvements to wall end cap editing can also improve your construction documents. Now, building upon its AutoCAD foundation, common AutoCAD commands such as chamfer and fillet are now added to a long list of familiar tools such as trim, extend, merge, and subtract, giving you the ability to add even greater detail to your designs while still leveraging your existing AutoCAD knowledge. Simply select the wall component that you'd like to modify, apply the appropriate command, and AutoCAD architecture will do the rest even giving you the ability to save the end cap style for future use in other wall types 
or for use in completely new projects.